May I present to you Adopt-A-Guardian. One of my followers, Follow Drip, suggested that I find players that aren't used to endgame and pretty much train them, adopt them, and take them through endgame. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you what it's like to just have a community to do that. Not only do I help someone that's higher power level than me because of doing bounties and playing the game, but we also buy someone the Lightfall Digital Deluxe Edition to help them with the endgame and get that new sweet dungeon loot. We're gonna be getting Gallahorns for the first time, wish enders and when i was done with this group and moved on to the next group to help my community took them through grasp of avarice and got them the gallahorn catalyst this is what it's all about gamers enjoy this new series we'll probably do the next one with raids and it'll probably be the first or second week of january let me just check and see what i have the quest so uh have you spent a lot of time in king's fall with me hey you no i've only done the raid once why Plus 18 in your artifact. I figured you were sitting at Golgi. Oh, no, I've just been doing bounty, you know? You bounty you bounty grind like that? I respect it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're just going to roll. Jerry has the quest. <laughs> no, we're doing uh, we're doing Warlords first. You guys got to experience the new dungeon first. Yeah, but you need the quest, don't you? That is true. That is right. <laughs> See? I already failed at that. Me? We need to go pick up the quest real quick at the tower. <laughs> I already have the quest. We have to go pick up the quest for Chris, and we'll be good to go. You never bought the new dungeon, so you can't do the new dungeon, okay? Starting to learn a whole bunch of new stuff as we play. So you, you don't have access to the new dungeons then. Okay, all good. You're gonna have to find someone else then? Nope, we're gonna do it my way. All right, Chris, I'm getting you the uh, Lightfall annual pass for Steam. You're gonna have the whole annual pass in the dungeons. Oh, shit. I'm buying it right now, and I'm gonna send you the code. So get ready to uh, close your game down and sit at, sit at the main menu. I am going to send you a $50 code. That code right there, go ahead and put in Steam. Click redeem Steam code or activate Steam code and that will give you Lightfall Digital Deluxe Edition. Then boot your game up and let's get it. All right, let's go. Here we go. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> We're good to go now. Only took us 30 minutes. Neither of these guardians have been in the new Warlords Ruin Dungeon. Uh, the reason why I wanted to take them through the most current content is because so they can at least get a feel for the new content and if they want to run it again and get the exotic they might get the exotic here or if they just want to be up to date at least they got a new new dungeon clear underneath their uh, belt all right easy kill here easy kill if you got a well you can pop it put it down well right here i've never seen us lose these ever nice first try G. first try is it spinning if it's spinning, don't shoot it again. Now what I want you to do is spin to your left, back here where I'm shooting. Look above where I'm shooting and you'll see another one of those spinny wheels and shoot it. Like look on the wall, look in this back corner where I'm shooting and look above the archway and you'll be able to see it. Yeah, he shot it. He shot it? Oh, we're about to find out. Oh, Let's go! First try. First try. <laughs> I'm nuts. I don't have the... Oh, dude, Chad, I still got on my... I got on the wrong stuff. I don't have on my solar artifact. I have on my strand. Dude, I told I myself wasn't... before I went live to check that. Right, I got the last one. You ready? Oh, shit. I'm ready. Here we go. Ready to go, boys. First try. Right. First try. That's good enough. That's good enough for me. Claps for these guys, chat. For sure. Gaming. All right, so there's a troll chest in this room. So one of these chests is correct with the loot. And the one that's correct is the one that's not glowing. So I'm gonna open up the correct one, but if you wanna see what it's like to open up the wrong one, go for it. You can open up the wrong one if you like, just for test purposes. Go ahead, Chris. So what happens yeah, when you open that wrong one? Yep, you get slowed, you get downed, and, and you get the boom, off. boom, bang, bang. Okay. We're gonna juice damage here. I'm not gonna tether. Yeah, I, uh, we, you are not gonna pop your well for damage here, okay? You're gonna pop your well when we go up to the next platform. And the next platform will be up here. So this is where you'll pop your well. I don't want either of you to jump up here until I say that I'm ready, okay? Because it'll start the next phase. Yeah. All right. When we do do damage to this guy and push him, it's gonna be right here where I'm standing because we can hide behind this, this you know, platform yeah. and shoot the yeah. boss. Yeah. You wanna just get that res and go to damage right away. Shoot the boss. Move around. We want to push him here. Nice. We push them. We push them. We push them. You ready to jump up now? You're gonna put that well down. Where I'm standing. Three, 
Two. Yep. One, jump up here. Put the wall right here where I'm standing. Stand, get ready. You can hide behind a platform if you want. Right on the oh, okay. That's GG. First try. Easy clappers. Let's go, boys. Let's We're going to play it slow, but we get the dub. Please give them the exotic. Exotic, come on. Give it to me. You're going to pick up the chest, too. Make sure you interact with this. Interact with the chest to get the... Uh, quest for the dungeon. I don't yeah. think they got it to drop. No, I guess. I just want to point out that these guys, it was Nezdo's first dungeon ever in Destiny 2, and it was Chris's second dungeon, and we didn't wipe once. Why? First Be game. Because I controlled the outcome. I realized like, hey, this is going to take an extra phase. Hey, play it smart. Hey, don't do this. Hey, don't get that fourth orb. If I would have stood in that fourth orb, I died, and it would have been a wipe because they both died. Control the outcome. Anybody can do it. Teaching, messing around, hour and two minutes. I don't know how to get it, you know. And look, it's not like I carried. Like, yeah, sure, I had higher damage, but like they still did three to four million. Like to me, that's still a dub. So, great job. Dumb, All right, so oh, Chris, man. Chris, you have done Grasp of Avarice once. Usually, I would say let's do something else since you've already done it. But Nezzo doesn't have Gallahorn. He bought 30th anniversary. Doesn't have Gallahorn. <laughs> we got to get him the Gallahorn, right? I mean, like, I that's, that's an iconic weapon. So I think we got to take him in there and uh, get him the duck. I think I go in here. Don't activate that, by the way. Okay. Activate this. Right? Ah! I think you have to. Um... That's what you don't do, okay? So don't do that one. That's right. Oh, I didn't just do that oh. to you. Okay. It's all right. That's okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, about that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna farm your dungeons. I'm not gonna farm your dungeons, okay? Over, but there's like divots in the wall that you can uh like hide in. Oh yeah, I see them. Go for it. Can we do it right? Yeah, sure. Here. Oh shit. You wanted it. <laughs> Drop your wall. Drop your wall. Easy clap. We just got Mr. Nezdo his second dungeon clear. First was the uh, Warlord's Ruin. Now he got Wrath done. He's gonna get Gallahorn. And Chris here just got his second clear on this dungeon. And after they're done playing with me, cause we got another 40 minutes, we're gonna have them link up with some people, uh, like one of my mods or someone that I, that I can trust and uh, get these guys their catalyst running. So it's been a long time. I haven't done this since God forsake. No, this is where the ball is. Where do I slam it? I take it back all the way, the way I just came? I think, you I, think I do. I think I take it the, the way I just came. And then we go over here and then you guys shoot this boss and it counts towards the quest. Right here is the other minutes are on me. I'm just sitting here just shooting him. Yeah, you know how to make it up here. Well, I was up there. Oh, okay. Oh, you never left. Yep. Okay, I, I thought you yeah. I thought you killed him. And then chat's like, the other minutes are still alive. Sorry. I thought you killed him. The ball goes in one of these statues that I don't remember. So you guys are just going to be my, like, protectors. I think it's on the right. I can't remember. Oh, boy. This is something here. Uh, I think it's this statue over here, to be honest. Good. All right. So I deposited it, and this opens up the door ahead. And I got the ball, and I have no idea where it goes. I think all the way to the end. So I think you guys got to keep me alive here. I'm running. See ya. Ah! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember where it is. Yeah, Can I use this? Oh, ho, ho, ho. see you later, buddies. 
Why? Oh yeah, you drop down right here. Yeah, I said keep me alive and I run off. <laughs> drop down and you slam it over here. I'm nuts at this game. All right, now we go straight ahead and we get the second boss upcoming here. We get him the old razzle dazzle. This is this is the token number two, because this door is never open and you need to slam those two orbs. But don't die. Like, make sure you like play smart. There he is. Get a shot on him. There we go. There's another one. Waking token of turrets. Oh, you did get it. Yep. All right, so this one, if I remember correctly, you can't kill the boss right away. You have to like two phase him. Then you're supposed to like, you gotta slam one token in this room and then uh, like a hidden knight spawns back corner, I think. So I think what you do here is I'm gonna explain to you guys how to do the fight. We're not gonna, we can't kill the boss. So lit li literally don't shoot the boss much because he falls over. Get the damage phase and ogre Minotaur will spawn in the back right, kill it, or will spawn in the back, dunk it front left of the room. But do you have to kill the ogre back here during damage phase? Like during the damage starting or no? Oh, Chris has the quest on him, so he's getting wish under too. You gotta sacrifice first damage phase. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, so when you kill this wizard, you pick you pick up a practitioner's mark. I have an Ami. We have a timer. If we don't kill this next wizard, we die. But of course, we're gonna kill it. So now we're at practitioner's mark times two, and we're just gonna go around the room now. I'm just explaining the mechanics. Pretty much you run around the room, and you're gonna kill these four wizards. Now we're going to go to the final boss, final one, and we're going to run back here and there's going to be an enemy back here that we have to kill for your guys' quest. So that's where we're going to start damage from. We're going to start damage from back there. That's where I'm going to slam and we're going to be ready for him. We're not going to shoot the boss at all. Go find him. There he is. All right, he's dead. Now what, chat? Is this where you grab the ball or am I good? The ball's right here. Where? Right here, no, in the middle. I got it, I got it. All right, so we take this ball, we dunk it up here. Yeah, it's like, dunk it over here. Yeah. All right, dunked it, now we're good. Now we do the second round. Or no, we, is this the ogre? I think it was it. Uh, he's fucking kidding. He's gonna get sauce teeny linguine. The shadow is fades. Terrify, the All right, we're That's good. Cute. All right, cool. Man, it's been a minute, dude. I met, wait, I, dude, I remember back in the day, this shit was hard. Dude, you could easily mess that up. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, dude, I remember. I messed up the first time I tried doing it. It took me the second, we had to go do our, our second try. Oh, okay. All right, now we can smoke the boss, Linguini style. There we go. Three, two, one, go. Literally, shoot whatever. He just, he just falls over. It's kind of sad how much health this guy's got. Better for us. All right. Moment of truth. Interact with the statue and get your wish enders. Go ahead and interact. Wish enders yours. Oh, let's go. Claps in the chat. No. Right now? No, right now. One dead. Two dead. Three dead. All right, maybe two dead, sorry. Three dead. Everybody wave, smile. Not a word, chat. My monitor turned off. There's no way I just missed that. I shot a little high, man. I shot a little high. Uh, my monitor turned off. All right, so really quick, um, uh, my guy R squared is gonna add you, Nesdo and Chris, and he's gonna help you out with the uh, Delahorn Catalyst. You're gonna have to run Grasp of Avarice again. You got, all right, he's got both of you. All right, boys, first group, adopt a guardian. We got you all guys right, some dubs. That was dubs. a lot of fun. We got you guys some wish enders. We got you the first clear on the uh, new dungeon, Warlord's Ruin, mm -hmm. and we got Nesdo, his Galahorn, and Nesdo and Chris are actually gonna do a run with someone from my community, R squared, to get their catalyst for it. So that's a big day for him. It was fun. Yeah. It made me sweat my ass off. And uh, yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> All right, it. man. That was a lot of fun. All right, guys. Peace. All right, later.
I'll keep you guys posted on details. What I think I'm going to do is make a section in my Discord for gamers to be interested in wanting to do this simply because it'll be easier for me and my mods in the Discord to set games up so I can play with you instead of having to DM people on TikTok or wait for a reply on YouTube. Stay posted for that. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Peace.